Hi, my name is Abdul Shivastav. I'm from Bombay, and uh, I want to tell you a bit about my experience in the Kailash trip. So the run up to the Kailash trip was very smooth for me. Uh, a lot of people have uh, different stories about uh, how Kailash called them. For me, it was uh, uh, very obvious the moment I heard about this trip. I knew I had to sign on. My parents were very supportive. Uh, my God's grace, finances were very good. I didn't have to worry a lot about shopping. The Kailash team was very cooperative. I just uh, Flung to one person and, and he did all the shopping for me. And it's just once I came to Nepal, the challenges arose. Uh, for one thing, I would uh, have to say is that uh, the Kailash team was personal and yet professional at the same time. It is very surprising to see how they would connect to each and every person and uh, make sure that everyone would go throughout the trip. I was asked at least a dozen times each day if I was okay, and frankly, I wasn't sure what the answer was because I knew a lot of shifts were happening inside me. Uh, the breathlessness started uh, two, three days before uh, we even reached Kailash, and uh, my nose, as you can probably see, is defunct, and my nostrils were practically useless. I've been breathing through my mouth the last four, five days, and that's how I've been countering the breathlessness. The Mansarovar Lake trip was. Uh, Amazing. Once I went inside, my voice went into high pitch because of the cold, and then suddenly there was this deep voice coming from within me, which I couldn't trace. It didn't seem to have any origin. I needed help from the other team members to take the first dip, but after that, it just flowed. And every time I wanted to take a dip for someone else, like my ancestors, some power would seize my legs and give me the strength, and then I would be able to take one more dip and come up again. And uh, seeing Mohanji in that lake was a surreal, divine experience. That's when you realize the powers that be grace you at every step of the way. Even when we came out of the lake, Mohanji casually just told us, uh, "There's so many uh, special beings right around us who are blessing us, and without whose help we wouldn't have even made this far." There were miracles throughout the trip, and. Uh, I don't want to go too much into detail. We saw so many symbols at every step of the way. Right when we needed help, a person would turn up. And uh, even during the havan, right after uh, in the uh, dip in Mansarovar, you could sense that there were beings who were witnessing, watching, and the chants which came out so effortlessly through us went put us into a state of no mind very very quickly. It's been a while since I've been able to meditate in an open space with a lot of noise and that was effortless that chanting in the hum. Going to the parikrama phase, day one was more about mind over matter, mind over body for me. Uh, I had to just uh, remind myself I'm not over body about this pain. But day two was even shedding the mind altogether because even the mind was not going to work. The upward journey, then the downward journey, the endless flat trailing just came in. So for that, you have to let go and surrender. Okay, let the powers that be take you forward. And I was very lucky that right at the top, at a Tolma Pass of around 5,000 meters above sea level, I could descend down again to Gorikund. And the water there and the energy there was surreal. There is no words to describe it. If you guys are lucky, you may get the opportunity to see Gorikund for yourself. I would say conserve all energy, do whatever you can, and get down to Gorikund. That experience is worth everything, all the energy that you take. And believe me, it will take all the energy you have to go there and then come back up again. Day three was, I think, easy for all of us. It was a very short journey, I think, of around 10 kilometers compared to 25 the previous day. And uh, it was for me more about uh, connecting with myself, closing the open loopholes in my head, and Finally, wrapping up the journey. Closing the journey was uh, not uh, a great monumental uh, occasion for me. It was just like, okay, fine, a box has been checked. But it was more after the journey, right? Right now, as I'm speaking to you, we are semi stranded in a location waiting for a helicopter to take us. And the last 24 hours have been extremely transformational for me. Uh, hearing stories of devotion and others' experiences has probably opened up a lot of blocks in me and uh, I know going forward I will take the last 24 hours close to my heart and remember them for a long long time to come. Hope you guys get to see Kailash again. Thank you.